Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to copy the artifacts generated by one job to another job in Jenkins. We have already seen how to perform this task using freestyle job in one of the previous videos. In this video, we will perform the same task using Jenkins pipeline or Jenkins file. Let us start. For this demo, we will use example Maven application. So, we will perform the Maven build and we will generate an artifact and that artifact will copy from one job to another job. So, this is the code. We will use this code for our build. So here we have a maven example. So we can run this build as part of our demo. So let us create a new job in Jenkins now. So I am giving job 1 and this is a pipeline. So we will use this job for generating the artifacts. Here we are not using any SEM like git. We will invoke the build directly from our Jenkins machine. So I have selected pipeline here. Let us write a pipeline here. So for this pipeline, I am giving agent as any, so that the pipeline can be executed in any of the available agents. So let us include stages here. In the first stage, let us perform the build. Let us write steps here. So in these steps, we need to perform the actual Maven build. So for that, I am using sh step. So this is the directory. And in this directory, we need to execute our maven command. So here I am executing maven clean install. So this will perform the build and it will generate a jar file. So let us test this build. The build is getting executed. Let us check the console output. So it is executing the build now. It will perform all the steps of the build process like compilation, packaging, test and install. After executing all the maven steps, it has created a jar file for us. We need to copy this jar file to another job. Before copying, we need to make an archive of this jar file. So let us change the configuration of this job. So here we need to add a new step. So before adding a step here, we can see the syntax. Here we can see the archive artifacts sample step. Here we need to mention the files to archive. If we click here, here we need to mention the files like corresponding directory and corresponding extension. So for this, we will mention target slash star dot jar. If we want to archive more files, then we can separate them using comma and we can generate a pipeline script here. So let us copy this step. So let us paste here. One more thing we have to remember is that whatever file we have here, those should be related to workspace. So before archiving, let us copy to workspace. So for this also I am using sh step. So here we are copying the jar file from target directory to the workspace. So we can remove this target here. So let us save this configuration and execute the job. Now in the console output, we can see the build will happen again and it will try to archive the artifact. Here the build is completed. Once the build is completed, then it is trying to archive the artifacts. Here it is executing the copy command. It is copying the jar file which is generated to the workspace of the job. And then it has archived the artifact. So now we can click on this build number 2. Here in the build artifact section, we can see whatever artifacts are archived as part of the job. Now create a second job which will use this artifact. Before creating the job too, we need to install copy artifact plugin. Let us install it. Go to manage Jenkins and here plugins. Click on available plugins and here we need to search for copy artifact. So this is the plugin. Just select it and install. So here I can see that the plugin is installed now. Now let us create a new job. I am naming as job too. This is also a pipeline. So now select the pipeline. So let us write the pipeline here. Agent is any. I am just writing the stages verify copy artifact. Here let us write steps. So now let us generate the step for it. Here we need to click on pipeline syntax. 
under steps we need to check for copy artifact so here we have the step copy artifacts we need to select it so here we need to select from which project name we want to copy so select job one and also we can select what is the build we want to copy here we can choose the latest successful build but we can use other builds as well here we can mention what is the artifact to copy and also we can mention which artifacts not to be copied here we can mention the target directory where we want to copy the files and also another filter is there with parameters like based on some parameter values we can filter the jobs as well so here we need to mention the artifacts to copy so before mentioning here let us open job 1 so in job 1 let us select the build 2 which is the latest build here if you click on build artifacts here we can see what are all the files we can copy so based on the relative paths here we need to mention corresponding paths as well so as of now we don't have any relative path here we can directly just copy this file we can mention here if you want to mention any target directory we can mention this target directory is with respect to workspace that means an output directory will be created inside workspace of job 2 and this file will be copied to output directory so we have generated the step let us copy this so i am mentioning copying from job 1 now here we are copying the jar file to output directory so we need to verify also for that let me write one more sh step to verify it whether the file is copied we have to verify in output directory and then i am just printing what is there in the directory let us apply and save and execute this job let us verify the console output in the output we can see that it has copied one artifact from job 1 build number 2 which is the latest build now we have gone to workspace output and here we can verify that the file is copied in this way we can copy artifacts from one job to another job using copy artifacts plugin so in this video we have seen how to copy artifacts of files from one jenkins job to another job using jenkins pipeline i hope this video helps thanks a lot for watching